Hi there everybody, good afternoon, good evening, hello, hello and welcome to the Witching Forecast. We are in September and this Witching Forecast is going to be for this week until Sunday. So we are going from September the, is it the 6th or the 7th day? One of those days. We're going to be going from the beginning of the week, the Monday, September, until Sunday. And we're going to be looking at, as we always, always do, look at the cards, the energies for the day, for the week, for the signs and for the, in, and for the general populace. So we're going to look at cards for everybody, oracle card and tarot card, see what the energies are this week, see how we're feeling. I know we've got some intense astrology going on. And then we're also going to be looking through the star signs and looking at everybody's individual one so hi there gail Mwah. hi there lucian Mwah. hi there anna Mwah. Mwah. so much love to you guys thank you for being here it's really lovely to see your faces today um, i think Cobb will pop up today as well for a little bit of a he's sitting here purring and so yes this week we're going to do as we always do go through your readings for the week and to see what's coming up for you. I've also got some exciting announcements going on as well. So I will do one announcement now and one announcement at the end. So I'm not bombarding you with announcements, but we love a good announcement. So um, announcement number one, before we do the readings, which I think we're gonna be doing with the Everyday Witch Tarot today, I think, or the Forest of Enchantment. Uh, any rec not recommendations, but any requests, do feel free to say in the comments. Uh, but um, announcement number one is that myself and the gorgeous Ellie Townsend, if you know her work, she's an Australian coach and healer and reader and uh, soul expert. Um, we are running a course together in the next few weeks, mid-September. No, just after the autumn equinox, after the autumn equinox, we're running a course together, a six week course, beginner's course into magic and witchcraft. So if you would like to learn from two very, very, very experienced witches about the basics and the details of magic from spell casting, uh, casting a circle, calling in the elements, the uh, ethics, what to do, what not to do, the wheel of the year, magical herbs, magical familiars, everything and more. If you want to find out about that, do go to ellietownsend.com forward slash witch and you can find out information about our amazing course. So I'm super excited to work with her and also very excited to share some autumn magic. So I know uh, Ellie's Australian, so for everybody in Australia, they're going towards Beltane. When we're going to be doing this, we're going to go from the spring equinox to Beltane and from this end of the world, we're going to be going from the autumn equinox to Samhain. Either way, it's a super magical time and a really great time to tune into your own power, your own witchcraft and your own magic. So I'll say the second announcement to the end of the show. We're going to do what we do. Let's get the cards out. I can see your comments today. Yay. Also, I'm shaking the camera. Not a great idea. So uh, do feel free to comment and say hello and share how it's going for you. Um, and Miriam's excited about the course. Yay. Hi there, Miriam. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope you're really well. Hi, Tony as well. Lovely to see you guys here. So let's get rocking on with the cards for the week. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think, we'll use the Druid Craft Tarot for our card for the week. So this is for everybody, for this week, from now until Sunday, we're in September, we're in the season of Virgo. I know today we've got a lot of astrological stuff going on. Today, Mars is going stationary, so Mars is about to go retrograde. Mars is a planet of action, of passion in that physical achievement way. So now is a great time to start reviewing how you've been doing things. Where's your passion? Where's your fire been focused in the last couple of months, the last few, you know, over lockdown? How have you been moving forward? Are you happy with the way that you're directing your energy? Um, now is a great time to uh, reflect on that before we go into the retrograde season, which I think takes us into November. So Mars will be going retrograde very shortly and then going in to November to go direct. So we're gonna reflect and realign how we're working, what we're doing, how we're moving forward over this time. But today, Mars also squares Saturn. So Saturn is the uh, planet of lessons, the kind of the personal trainer of the galaxy. <laughs> so that's a heady square. So if you found today to be a bit stressful, if you found the energies at the moment to be a bit intense, then this could be the lessons that are coming up with Mars and Saturn. But also there's a few other things going on. Do check out Zoe 
uh, Astro Zoe's astrology weekly videos and also Aeolian Hearts weekly astrology uh, sharings because they really inspire me with how they look at the planets. But yeah, so we've got a lot going on. We're in Virgo, we're in the season where here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're kind of knuckling down for the beginnings of the autumn. I know that a lot of the kids are going back to school, so it's a time that even as an adult, I like buying stationery and getting myself all prepared. Um, and hi there, Julie, hi there, everybody that's tuning in. The cats say hello as well. So let's look at the energy for everybody for this week. Let's see what's coming up and let's see what's going on. So, ooh, sexy. <laughs> uh, card for the week. I love it in the Druid craft. They don't really mess around. They're not kind of uh, say, saying subtlety is not what we're doing here. We're going full on, which I love. So it's Kununos. So anyone who's not pagan and going, what? Uh, Kununos is the Celtic god of fertility, the land, fecundity, nature, the wild, the shadow, the dark, the untamed, the passion. So maybe, and obviously traditionally, um, this card is a devil card, and I go on a lot about the devil, which I, as in, not as in the Christian devil, but the card, and how that connects with us, and how we, our shadow side comes out. And I often say with this card is that um, it can show what we repress, what we push down. So uh, I love it in this deck that instead of instead of demonizing our animal selves which the devil card can often do um this kind of celebrates it a bit more because it's a healthy um a healthy way of channeling our wild natural energies of course anything like this can go either way you know it's not always going to be um, an easy journey and excess is not really advised with this card you know it's it's it can be the card of addictions, of kind of passion and people that get addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, all that kind of thing. However, these things happen because we repress and push so much into our shadow. We can't deal with so much. We push it down and we cope with it in different ways. The devil card or the Kaninos card here, because basically, you know, when you look at the Bible, the description of the devil isn't a horned being. You know, this is kind of to, that was done to demonize the pagan gods the wild fertility gods the antlered gods so you've got Kaninas, you've got Gwyn, you've got um pan so many um so many horned and antlered gods different kind of horns because they relate to the land they relate to nature they relate to our own wildness our own power and so that was to get to kind of put uh, paganism in the shadows so we're going to reclaim that with this card and enjoy the energy and as we go towards the shifting seasons and the turning months we're tuning into our own desires our own longings our own wildness our own passion and our own power and as long as we don't abuse this as long as we don't abuse other people this is a, just such a healthy thing to integrate the shadow to integrate the passions that we feel and not to just sweat it down and just be really polite um, just do this in a way which is going to be good for you and healthy for you and look I mean it's also a good time to like I like the fact that these two are having a little nap as well it's um, maybe time to stop I said that Mars is going to go retrograde and Mars is going stationary today uh, well you know what could be just stopping tuning into our passions our energy stop rushing forward just enjoy the energy i know venus went into leo the other day as well so we're, that's a very powerful purry passionate um energy so let's look at how we are feeling in our bodies in our souls celebrate that work with it in a really positive and healing way and it will bring us power rather than be something to be afraid of so can the god of the wild, the god of the woodlands, is reminding us of the deep passions that run within, of the, the absolute primal beings that we are. And it's asking us to uncover a little bit of the politeness, to take that to one side, and maybe to express that in a really good way. You could express it through poetry, through painting, through exercise, of course, through love, through passion, whatever works and whatever is, but just enjoying yourself, enjoying your body, enjoying uh, who you are. This is a lovely energy to work with. So we have to, we all, we're all grown-ups here, we can all walk the line of understanding when we're going too far, when we're hurting others, when we're being too, um, you know, taking on too much uh, sort of food or drink or we're being too lazy. We all know when we're doing that. There's definitely a line to walk with this card, but it's turning into autumn. It's time to get out into the wilds and to feel the passions of life. 
And uh, yeah, Lucien saying hoof and horn, hooray! And also makes her feel like a wildling. Absolutely. This is a, the, the, a great time to tune to that energy. So that is the card for the week. It's ruled by Capricorn. So this Capricorn energy and uh, Saturn rules Capricorn. So Saturn squaring Mars might have something to do with this feeling that we have of... Um, I also think with Saturn as well, that even though it's a personal trainer, then we can often feel um we can often feel that that's a planet that makes us go oh, gosh i've got to get my work i've got to get work done i've got to do this but with saturn the biggest rewards come it may take a long time it may take really looking into our shadow it may, it may take really being disciplined being focused being going over the same thing again until we get it right but the rewards we get from it are the biggest and it's this is the energy with this if we can work with our own uh, shadow with our own issues and open up and heal ourselves we get the best kind of um, results so I hope that was nice I hope you enjoyed that uh, the card for the week being Kanonos and we're going to do an, an animal card as well so we're going to look at the spirit of the animals cards that I always like to look at every week well, that's, they're just so beautiful um, they're currently one of my favourite animal decks, that's for sure. So let's have a look and see. Okay, Car animal oracle for the week for everybody. Oh look, oh so nice. It's almost like we've got Kninos and Bridget here. So you've got Swan, Grace. I love this as a kind of, oh turn it right way around Laura, as a kind of, um, I don't know what the right word is but <laughs> my brain's not really working, but it's a kind of fit for this. This is, in a different way, how we walk through this with honour, with uh, real integrity and dignity. So this one is grace, and look at that, this regal vibe there, totally. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So that's so nice. That's such a lovely card. And you've almost got this wildness, this divine kind of masculine wildness going on with this card. And you've got this beauty, this grace, this sovereignty, this dignity, this other side of the poetic self, really, because there's this letting go and there's a refining with these processes. And they're all beautiful, they're all natural, they're all wild and wonderful. So you who glides across the waters of my soul, that kind of gets me. I love that. Bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So the swan is sacred in so many myths and legends and is the bird of Bridget, the healer. And um, Bridget is um, the Irish Celtic goddess and of course Saint Bridget as well and she is the goddess of the forge so you have the forge of the soul the forge of creativity as well as the forge where you actually make objects uh, she is the muse to poets she is the poet's goddess and also she's the healer so an amazing comment you find a lot of wells sacred wells are um, sacred to bridget healing wells but what a lovely duo we have here the passion in the wilds and the still beautiful waters so that is an amazing energy for the week. Deeply beautiful, deeply soulful. I think it could be quite a soulful week and a, a way to go into our dreams and our, the depths as well. So um, what I'm going to do is, shall we use the Forest of Enchantment or shall we use the which I think I might use the Forest of Enchantment today actually because I feel like it will continue this dreamy energy. We seem to have got this lovely vibe going and if I work with the Forest of Enchantment tarot for everybody then we maybe we'll keep on with that beautiful dreamy vibe. So let us start with our wheel of the year and we'll start with Virgos because we're in Virgo time so happy birthday Virgos. Let's see what your card for the week is. So Team Virgo your card for the week is Perfect for you guys. The Weaver of Boons, which is the Queen of Discs or Pentacles traditionally, if you are um, uh, looking into the tarot. Um, this is beautiful. This is so happy Virgo. It's in the garden. It's in nature. It's uh, abundance. It's harvesting the work that you've done. It's putting your feet on the earth. This isn't a crazy time of going wild, as in 
partying wild, but a different kind of wild is the going wild into the actual land and working with the land and connecting with the abundance of nature and the abundance that you too are weaving and um, reaping in your life. This is a beautiful week where you should have your needs met, you should have things coming towards you abundance wise, money, health, food. It's also a card if you want to expand your life, maybe babies, maybe, you know, family, maybe um, work, abundance, creating something for the home. This is a great week for all of that. It can be a literal harvest time, but she is the embodiment of the Empress in earthly form. So the Empress is the goddess of the land and this beautiful, nurturing home and this soulful woman who is connected to the cycles and the seasons of the land which i think is so you guys is so virgo at heart because you are the harvest babies you're the ones that come up at this time when the seasons are changing from summer to autumn and from i guess in in the southern hemisphere you know from from winter to spring but we have that turning tide and being conscious of what we've done and what we are um, harvesting as well so it's a very beautiful card for you guys for you lovely Virgos I hope yep um, Lucia said the barefoot beauty yes she's definitely a barefoot beauty in all ways and Margie says the swan is one of my totems and love the goddess Bridget good I'm glad yeah Bridget is the best obviously one of the best for sure um, and a beautiful totem absolutely so let's move forward on to our Librans our uh, lovely Librans is your card for the week, your energetic uh, image <laughs> for the week ahead. What's going on for you guys? For Libra, mm, perfect, I love it. The Enchanter, which is the magician, traditionally. So look at this dude, he is making magic, he is creating his world. So the Enchanter is using the wisdom and channeling his magic to create his own little world there his own reality so librans what do you need to focus on this week what can you make real this is a wonderful week for you to express your will to express your your desires and to impress people actually as well like this is what i can do would you like to see what i can do here we go. Um, the magician, the enchanter can create magic, create a new world, create, they're using their skills to make their mark on the world. So Librans, decide what it is that you want to bring in and focus your energy on it. You have learned so many skills over the last few years or over this year, even over lockdown, you've learned so many skills. Now is the time to focus it. Don't dissipate your energy on worry, on self-doubt. This enchanter, the energy is fully focused on the task at hand. If you channel your magic, your energy, your communication, your adventures this week into fulfilling a goal, you can create wonders. So lovely Librans, focus that energy, expand your horizons, decide what you want, communicate it either by telling someone or communicate it by action. But it feels a very powerful time for you to do that. So uh, lovely energy for our lovely Librans. And moving on to Team Scorpio, I hope you're doing well today. Um, and uh, Karen says, I'm a Libra, a wonderful card and can relate to it, good. Lucian's Libra Ascending, very apt for my day, good, good. I forgot that reminds me, Lucian, what I meant to say to everybody is, as always, if you haven't watched before, I always say, look at your big three. And hands, <laughs> big three, not big two, <laughs> which is your sun sign. So, you know, your sun sign, the day you were born, create your sun sign. Your moon sign, um, which you can find out by looking at your charts, and your ascendant. They're the big three that really shape your personality and shape how you are in the world. And then you get a reading for each. So you get your ascendant reading, you get your sun sign reading, and you get your moon reading. So, <laughs> someone's laughing at my big three. Boom! Bloom, can't even count. Uh, yeah, so Team Scorpio, let's get rocking with our lovely Scorpios. And what is your card for the week? Oh, so nice. Okay, Scorpio, it's the bear party. It's time to dance, to sing, to celebrate, to enjoy. The Three of Cups or the Three of Visions is this absolute grapes that are there. This is so, it's about abundance in nature, abundance in life. It is this absolute joyful energy, this splashing into life um 
it's a very much a card of course it can be a, a card of relationships of love of passion because it is the cups and it's a celebratory card but it can also be a card of friendship and enjoying your friendship um, partying having fun and really connecting with like-minded people there is a lightness to this week there is a brightness to this week there is a sense of fun joy celebration coming in so enjoy the energy of this card there is a many reasons to celebrate this week and if you're struggling to find one then create one find a reason to celebrate because you've got so many beautiful things hilarious things joyful things uh light things and actually by tuning into that energy you will attract more abundance as well so i hope that you enjoy that scorpios okay moving on to our gorgeous Sagittarians, team saggy your card for this week is nice I'm saying nice a lot today shall we just go with it that so far touch wood they've been beautiful cards the ace of boons um the ace of boons boons are pentacles um and the ace is a new energy in your practical life your physical life your financial life your health your wealth definitely those areas so this could obviously be an offer of something new coming into you there could be something new opening up for you as a gift so the this lovely frog or toad which does represent abundance and accepting abundance and and also shifting your energy so that you can be in a place of, of health and wealth um there's a reason why frogs and toads appear so much in fairy tales they are absolute symbols of good luck and abundance and they're carrying this ring this ring has emerged from the pool. So something may emerge in your life this week, which brings abundance in some way, which brings financial, practical, wealth, opportunity, stepping forward. There's something that's going to come in which can create power for you to physically make changes. And this is great. So for my Sagittarius friends, it's a great week for starting a new project, for making some money, for focusing your energy on a, a, a a career path or how you'd like to live your life from now on there could even be a health regime you're putting in this week if you do it it feels like it'll go far so also with the ace it's often a gift so even though this could be things that you're working towards you could feel like this week you're being offered something which is beautiful which is really healthy for you and really opens doors so really nice energy for my saggy friends out there and i hope that you enjoyed that uh, Nicola says, wonderful, thanks Laura, my pleasure. And uh, Miriam's looking forward to the abundance of good things. Yes, I, 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 I'm glad, I'm glad you're looking forward to that. Okay, so we started off with the Capricorn card, the devil, or Caninos, that's ruled by um, Capricorn. Now we're going into Team Capricorn's card for the week. So what is this energy? Lovely jovely, the keeper of visions. So this, is what a pretty card this is traditionally the king of cups and this fish this beautiful salmon of wisdom is diving into the pool and this is just beautiful diving into the depth the depth of the soul this week for you guys for you capricorns could be a beautiful creative poetic i feel like it could be an amazing dreamy week you know really focusing on your heart your soul your passions you may have that dreamy air about you this week but it's romantic it's about really diving into your own personal deep finding your wisdom finding your truth finding your beauty of course the visions or the cups are also about love this could be falling in love, discovering something new, moving forward in your relationship, but feeling that you're drive, a driving force maybe more, and more in control of where you're going. Um, so again, it could be a great creative week for you as well. But the important thing is that you don't go up on the surface, that you don't just kind of follow along. You go deep, you find the beauty that's unique to you, the truth that's unique to you your own magic, your own wisdom, your own creativity, and dive in and enjoy. So the salmon is the endured tradition, the oldest and wisest of all animals. So that is a beautiful um, card and idea, and also that they go upstream to go back to their, their home, their birthplace. And maybe it's you returning to what's important to you as well. So, right, moving on guys and girls, let's go towards 
um, we've got our lovely Aquarians. So Team Aqua, um, Aquarius Rising, Aquarius Moon as well as Sun. Let's see what your card is for this week, everybody. Awesome. So the Enchanter's Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune, traditionally. Um, and with the magpies on there, we've got this woven circle, circle, cycle, spiral. This is a card of absolute change and transformation. Uh, some things will pass, some things will be moved into your life. You are at a place and at a time right now where you're able to weave in your own reality. Um, I'm kind of seeing it like a bit of a dream catcher, you know, creating a web for you to catch your visions in for your goals. So this is a great week to think about the bigger picture, about where you're going, what you would like to call in, what would you like to change, what luck is around you if you've channel it and focus on it, what is your dream and your vision for your own future. And I always feel with the Wheel of Fortune, the central point is that place of balance. Some things go up, some things go down, we can kind of get dizzy. And if you go into your centre, you'll always find stability. So keeping the magic within so you can create it without. So great change coming for you guys, opportunities to take advantage of as well. Thank you, lovely Aquarians. Okay, um, so Margie says, my Sun and Moons is Capricorn. Yeah, nice, it's a double nice card for you guys then. Moving to Pisces, a lovely Pisceans out there. Let's see what's coming in for Team Pisces. Oops. Okay. So this is a card that makes me laugh quite a bit, actually. So I'm pulled two. You know I do that if there's one that is just a bit meh. And four of boons is not meh, really. But look. You can't have my pie. I've got pie. You can't have it. I'm taking my pie off somewhere else. Uh, you, you've got, you know, there's a sense of what's mine is mine. And the Four of Pentacles or the Four of Boons traditionally are, is, you know, it's a card about um, kind of protecting stability, protecting what's yours. Isn't it, Copper? Do you think so? Yes. So in this, this is represented by Pi. Boon is Pi. What do you think is going on in this picture? Do you think this person's stolen a pie or doesn't want to bring the pie to the table to share? Yeah, sharing is not caring in the Four of Boots. Um, so there could be a sense of lack going on or I must protect what's mine. And still, when I delve deeper into this week for you guys, we have the Sunlight card, which is just utterly stunning. Are you coming up here, Cobbs? You want to come and see people? He's not sure. Um, so you've got the Sunlight card. So don't, if you can help it, Stayed off the petty mindedness this week. Stayed off the mine, 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 mine kind of vibe. Um, it's good to have boundaries. Again, don't give what you can't give. Keep your boundaries strong. But also, if you can... Cobweb. <laughs> he just dropped on my head. <laughs> you didn't see that, I don't think, because the card was up, but that was quite funny. Um, he says here he's getting the abuse when no, when he, when no one can see him. Um, so, uh, let down the kind of um, closed off senses and enjoy life, celebrate life, enjoy your passions. You will get so much more back if you just give from the heart and, you know, enjoy and follow your heart rather than segmenting everything off, which can be tempting sometimes. Boundaries are important, um, but not to, sometimes we can take the joy out of life with that. So remember the sun card, the ultimate success and beauty is there for you. Copy's happy now. He's bopped mummy on the head, you know. Okay, so Aries, 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 sun, moon and rising. Here is your card for the week. Everyone's saying hello to you, Cobb. They're saying hello. I think he's very grateful. Okay, Aries card for the week. Hey, the three boons. Keep working, working. Uh, work it, work it, work it. That is the thing for you guys this week and for me, being an Aries. Um, but I love it. This is not work that makes, in this case, for this card, it's not work that makes you go, Oof. this is really exciting. You know, you've got a raven who's telling you the instructions, writing down the ingredients for your magical concoction while there is like an elf creature in the background. Like that's not a bad day at work on my count. 
So uh, this is a magical way of creating something. If you would like to make your business go further, put focus on it this week. If you want to create something magical for your life, work on it this week, put some structure in, do it, throw yourself into it, really healthily and positively follow some structure and make some magic happen. It's a card of worky, worky work, but not boring work. It's a work that's going to lead you somewhere. It's going to build up something that's great for you. And I think it can be a work you can immerse yourself in. And um, look at that. So the raven is giving the instructions there. So this is magical work and powerful work and something that you can really, I mean, I'm happy with that. I think that autumn vibe for me is, is basically doing that, you know, maybe with a cat instead of a raven, but there we go. That's for our lovely Aries. Everyone's saying hello to you, Cobweb. He says, but they haven't got food. And I was like, no, they haven't got food, but you know. Um, and Lucian's really relating to that with an Aries moon. So yeah, absolutely. And moving forward to, hi there, Michelle, lovely. Hi, everyone that's watching. Really nice to see you all today. Um, moving on to Taurus, our gorgeous Taurian friends. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. Team Taurus. Okay. Okay, the child of challenges. So the challenges are swords in this deck and the uh, child is the princess. So you're thinking of new things, you're thinking of ways out of things, you're working out which options to take, how do I move forward, which way to go. It is a week of maybe being inspired and thinking of new ideas. I feel like you could um, think your way out of a stuck situation quite positively this week. Um, so new ideas, studying, planning, dreaming, getting some communication going, getting the juices flowing from that um, I feel like a spring, you know, a spring breeze blowing or autumn breeze and how that just shifts your perspective. I get that for you guys this week, a shift of perspective and excitement because it's a child or the princess or the page traditionally, it is a newness. You may not feel confident in this way of thinking. You may not feel experienced, but in a way that is so exciting because it means that you are heading into a bright new direction. So think of areas of your life that maybe you've been feeling a bit stuck or you've not been sure how to progress and apply some of the noggin to it. Different ideas, thoughts, perspectives, studying, planning, dreaming, totally challenging how it is you normally think about things and you should be able to create something beautiful and also get through anything that's stopping you at the moment. You have everything in your power to get through any challenges or you know, blocks or feelings of flatness. It's a great time to think, to study, to communicate, to get the ideas going. So hope that helps. Alrighty, moving towards our lovely Gemini buddies, Team Gemini. Um, Gemini moon rising as well as sun. Let's have a look. Oh, one of my faves. Here we go, Geminis, the Weaver of Spells. This is one of my favourite cards. And it is the uh, Queen of Wands traditionally. Um, because the Queens or the Weavers uh, are ruled by water, but this is a fire sign. It almost looks like a fire mermaid, and I always love it when this when this card comes up. I just find it really beautiful and really powerful. Um, so Gemini, this week is creative. It's passionate. It's powerful. It's a week to revel in your own um, enchanting energy. Create magic. Uh, get some, you know, don't be shy of taking centre stage. This is the weave of magic here. So she's creating something that's really powerful and beautiful for her. Dance, create, sing, express, show the world who you are. Whether that be through your dress, through your communication or the way that you are just feeling about yourself this week. There is passion, there is fire, there is beauty and there is movement in your life that maybe you have created. So that's super nice for my lovely Gemini friend. And now into our Cancerian um, reading. So for all you guys Cancerians out there, let's have a look and see what your card for the week is. Cancer, Cancer, Cancers. Um, great. Okay, nice. Child of Boon. So the Child of um, Challenges for Taurus and for Cancerians, we've got the Child of Boons. Oh, sorry, threw it on cobweb then. Sorry, cobweb. Did not mean to throw the cards at you, but you did bop me on the head, so. Um, the gingerbread house, the sweetie house. And this is, okay, uh, page of pentacles traditionally. 
Uh, this could be a great time to again um, focus on something new within your work within your stability this is a great time to take a step forward uh, it could be new work opportunities it could be studying it could be uh, focusing on something that's going to help you take practical steps forward um, being at the child is a newness to it maybe a naivety to it so ask for help exhausted or you can't think of how to do this or you feel a bit over your head just ask for help because there are new ways forward coming through for you guys and it is really 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 positive so there are new ways forward for you guys you can take big steps in your work your career your finances this week uh, if you're feeling stuck ask for help but this could be about studying about uh moving forward with new ideas for your work your plans your dreams your home but uh you should have everything you need to take big steps forward and then bring in more money or to uh, build a new foundation for yourself. So a lovely energy there. But yeah, just ask, push the boundaries a bit, take a step out of the comfort zone. Don't stay with what you know. It's a time to really push and uh, go into something new that may make you feel a bit vulnerable, but is worth it in the end. Alrighty. So moving forward to Leo's, we've got our last sign of the day. Team Leo. Uh, nice child of visions. We've got three children this week. So the Taurus, the challenge child, the Cancer, the Boon, the Pentacle, and for Leo we have the child of visions who is running in the rain, like enjoying the magic of life. And it is a week of maybe nostalgia, maybe following the heart a lot more than the head being innocent and playful in your endeavors this week don't overthink it don't overanalyze it don't go too serious about the world play enjoy dream uh enjoy the beauty i like the fact that you know that the rain and she's kind of just laughing and smiling to being out in the rain it feels very autumnal as well because you've got the spider's web there but the spiral of life so the child of visions is someone that's going to really manifest how they feel so tune to the heart this 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 week again it could be a poetic creative musical week for you um but express from the heart play enjoy and really dance through any things that may be holding you back this definitely is a week to um tune in to the more innocent emotions and i mean that as in just the vulnerable the sweet what i don't mean that sugary sweet but that sense of purity within yourself that you really feel um, is your core to play there to dwell there to maybe go into seeing what your inner child would like to do what would your inner child like to do this week would they like to play would they like to do an adventure follow that energy and you will go far so really lovely cards I don't think anybody had a bad card this week even though we've got some strong energies around I don't think you had a bad card I think it was all really rather nice so I'll just let you know again the cards everyone had for the week which is Kanunos the passionate wild lord of the woods sexy time <laughs> um you know just tuning in to your inner well tuning into what makes you feel turned on what makes you excited what makes you passionate what tunes into your wildness and then also working with the swan graceful beautiful uh really tuning into the soul in a very dignified way so love these cards, love the combination of them, beautiful energy for the week. Um, and yeah, great energies for everybody, I think, to work with. And Miriam says, yes, there's my sun sign. So it all ties well with the Scorpio reading. Fantastic. My pleasure. And uh, go team gems for my lovely Julie. Yes, go team everybody. Um, so thank you for tuning in today. I'm going to do the Monday meditation on Psychobab. Yes, I am. At 5.30 p.m. on Instagram. And on Wednesdays, Wednesdays at 7, I do Witchy Wednesday question time on Instagram as well. So do pop over to Instagram if you're there, at Laura Redwich. And don't forget me and the wonderful Ellie Townsend are running our amazing and magical witchcraft course uh, to tune in to your own magic and to learn how to work with the craft. Find out more on Ellie's website, ellietownsend.com forward slash witch. And also to say that if you are interested in connecting with the goddess, I'm uh, rerunning my very, very popular goddess awakening course soon. So if you're interested in tuning into the energies of the goddess, into the maiden, the mother, the lover, the warrior, the crone, the dark goddess, the queen, all these different energies it's one of my favorite courses that i run and i absolutely adore delving into those archetypes year after year so if you're interested in 
uh, Goddess Awakening, do message me or go to lauradelligan.com and find out more. But if you want to find out more, do message me and I can give you some more information about these courses. They're all online courses. They all work with worksheets, with videos, with interaction, and with meditations, etc. So I look forward to spending this autumn with you guys. Okay, love you all. Thank you for being here today. So I can't wait to love you too, but you just can't bother to move. And uh, I'll just pop over to Instagram and do this meditation for you in a second if you want. So have a great week. Take care. And thanks for tuning in. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>